After five seasons and two Stanley Cup rings on Matt Murray's skinny ass fingers, you would have never expected to see a drop off as bad as movie rental stores. Matt Murray is a grade A case of a dumpster fire. Sure, the team in front of him has not been elite by any means, but it seems his glove hand has entirely checked off. During Matt Murray's time with the Pittsburgh Penguins, he hoisted two Stanley Cups and even pushed out longtime team and league talent and favorite Mark andre Fleury during the Vegas expansion draft. So, what the hell happened? The season the Penguins were on track to three-peat, they lost to future Stanley Cup champions, the Washington Capitals. Not only was this a turning point in Penguins hockey, but it was a turning point for Matt as well. His save percentage has dropped, goals against average was raised, and he seemed just overall less confident. After being so stunning his first couple of seasons, many believed it was a fluke. Many did not. After all, he was going through a lot in his personal life with the loss of his father at such a young age. Leave it to Pittsburgh to cut you no slack and end your Batman story and make your grieving experience tremendously more difficult. Steel City with Steel Hearts. Season after season, game after game, Instagram comments after Instagram comments. It seemed the biggest issue with Matt was his glove hand. A change of scenery was dire and Matt Murray, GTFO. The Penguins traded Murr to the Ottawa Senators, where he was given a very, very, very nice and risky contract despite his fall off. Dumpster fire in a dumpster fire, dumpster fireception. Since joining the Ottawa Senators, Matt Murray went from a struggling goalie to the worst goddamn goalie in the league. He's making Martin Jones look like Marty Brodeur out here. Before we move forward, let's take a look at his compilation of dismay. Currently, Murray is allowing over four goals per goddamn game on average, and his save percentage is, well, not worth 25 million goddamn Canadian dollars. It's getting harder and harder to believe in a bounce back season for the old Murr, because at this point, there are more bad seasons than there were good ones. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.